When my kids were little, like most kids, they had a lot of crayons. They did a lot of coloring. So we'd have those things everywhere. And after a use or two, what happens to a crayon? It breaks. They're not the strongest things in the world. But wanting to get the most life of the, out of them as I could and wanting to fix my toddler's problems, what would I do? I would, I would tape them back together again, or I'd try to. Pretty quickly, the tape would stop doing its job. The crayon would fall apart again. Actually, they started to make a game out of it where they would be able to tell when it was a taped crayon and not a, a real one, or not an not a unbroken one, and they would just break it on purpose, giggling when they did, that they'd figured it out. They learned that in spite of my best efforts, a broken crayon couldn't just be fixed with tape. It was still broken. Then my sister came to visit one day. She remembered how when we were kids, my parents would, uh, well, we would save all the little broken pieces of crayons together, and sometimes my parents would have us bring all those together into the kitchen, and we'd put them in little uh, cupcake holders, and we'd melt them in the oven. Just a few minutes in the oven, they'd come out, they'd cool, and we would get this really awesome multicolored crayon, different than what we had before. It wasn't a brand new, uncolored crayon with the wrapper still on. It wasn't a broken but taped up crayon. It had become something else, something new. It was something broken that had been reformed, reimagined, transformed. I think that's like Easter. The Gospel's not so much a story about God fixing things or making them easier, not even for his own son. Jesus' body wasn't taped up and returned. It didn't revert back to what it was before as if it had never been hurt at all. Jesus shows Thomas his hands and his side. Faith has something to do with trusting that our experiences, too, aren't erased, but they are transformed. We're not taped back together, but we're changed in ways that bring out new patterns and new colors. Jesus showing up with scars suggests that God loves our bodies with all of the evidence that they carry about what we've lived through, all the evidence that they carry that we have lived, our, all those stretch marks from childbirth or scars from a fight or a surgery or an accident or the metal joints or the balding or whatever else, all of it, God loves us as we are, God meets us as we are, God works with us as we are. Resurrection isn't about fixing necessarily, but transforming in ways that honor all that we've been through, like Jesus in this passage. Jesus has the wounds still. God hasn't undone what happened to him, and yet Jesus is alive, and he's transformed, and he meets the disciples and offers them peace.